friends, it is Friday. What time is it, Jake? 22. It is 22. It is 22 on a Friday. I have edited two videos. I have had a shower and we have had lunch. My dad's made homemade sausage rolls for me to take home the other day. So I was like, eh. <laughs> so we've got them. Jake's about to do the washing up. I've got a load of laundry going on. And today is the IKEA Furniture Shelves Day. They've been on the landing for about a month. And every weekend I say I'm going to do it and I haven't done it. So today's that day. I'm going to do it with my turby towel, keep my hair nice and dry. <sighs> Today's the day. But first, tea. Whilst I'm here looking like a crazy person, I'm gonna build my slimline bathroom storage unit that I bought last weekend from Aldi. Um, I can get in there, hopefully it's just, well, it's a simple box, so it should be too difficult to construct. I'm hoping it comes with all the screws because I'm not entirely sure that I have, but it does, it does. Run. after six long hours i have finally finished the cupboard whoop whoop so we've got all of our boxes and stuff like storage boxes which i find really helpful for like packing stuff up or if like people need a box you just keep pretty good boxes okay I'm, I'm weird like that the dyson spare dyson these are the shelves that i built um so i've got like christmas wrapping paper and birthday wrapping paper there outdoor like toys and a pump in a basket things like that random stuff um my uni books are in there that's actually an empty box that needs to go to my parents house because i need to pack up some stuff in their house to put in their loft suitcases first aid box more like you know like gift bags that sort of thing i'm a hoarder okay let's just not let's just not make a mockery out of this but i really like this i deliberately put the soft stuff on top so i don't want to scratch this up because i have a feeling one day one day when we get a house, this would look actually really nice just like out. And I think I can just store my glossy boxes, like the pretty ones, in here. So I'm happy with it. Also, I couldn't walk in here before. You can see like where the boxes were. That's how much room we had. Believe it or not, I have actually hoovered this. But um, I'm going to store the hoover in here now. So we've actually got a place to store our hoover. 
not just like in the middle of our living room, which is where it was previously. I forgot to mention because we don't have like a coat. We have a coat rack downstairs, but it's not very big. So I put my coat on this, which is just from my old bedroom to my house. But put that on the back of the door. God, can you hear those fireworks? And then that'll all like squidge in like that. Oh, the wire. Okay, maybe not. But it will squidge in like that and it'll be perfect. <sighs> it's busy, but it's actually really organised and tidy. Very, very pleased. I'm now going to go eat dinner because I'm hungry. I don't even want you to look at me right now. I feel so grody. I want to die. I just, well, I don't, but like, I feel so gross. I've been having allergic reaction this morning to dust. I am severely allergic to dust. And my nose has been non-stop sneezing. This is my check-in for Sunday. I didn't even vlog Saturday. I'll explain when I feel better. But I just want to keep my head out of the light. Uh. Hello, uh, I look like a potato. It's actually after work the next day and I said I would try on the stuff from River Island. Ignore my ironing board that just lives behind the door, okay? Uh, speaking of ironing, this bloody needs it. Um, I don't know if I can angle my camera a bit better. Is that a bit better? You're currently balancing on a clothing horse, so that's good, isn't it? This is the top I bought. God, it's creased. I should have ironed it. That's embarrassing, but like we're just gonna run with it. So. It's like this satiny sort of texture with like this cheetah or leopard print. I'm not very good at my very not I'm not very good at my prints, is what I'm trying to say. Cheetah has like the circle and then the like the three dots around it, like the black dots, whereas leopard is just this. I think. I don't know. Um oh my god, how creased it is, how embarrassing. But you can imagine it not creased. Imagine it not creased. So it like looks like that. It's slightly curved around the bum, which I quite like. Um, it's got black skinnies on. Really like the arms. Actually, the arms were like one of the most things I loved about it. It's it's kind of got like this elasticated bit here, so you could easily pull it up if you wanted to to create a bit more of a like that effect. I don't know if that's your vibe, but if like they were getting in your way, you could li easily lift them up, which I quite like. So if I was going out and didn't want to lean anything over, I could just do that a little bit. But easily pulling them down, looks so so cute. So then you get this just like ribbon pussy bow situation which i think the model had it on just like this and i think that's how i'd possibly have it as well maybe like a double knot perhaps perhaps something like that i quite like that i think that's kind of cute i think it's kind of interesting as well though i quite like it completely undone as well i think there's something a bit weird about it that i quite like they're very very long so like I just quite like it like this, and it's kind of sweet. You could easily do a proper bow, though I feel a bit like the cat in a hat. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's just a bit too, a bit too thick for this. I feel a bit like the cat in a hat and a big bow just sticking out on me. Whereas this just looks a little bit more flat, looks a little bit more like, woo, something's going on here, you know? Um, and I love the cover of it. It's like a rusty orange, very creased, very creased. I do apologize for that. 
but that's the first thing I got and it was like 15 quid and I was like yeah I love that that's lovely I like that please ignore that I am wearing a gym bra because I'm about to go to the gym later and a bodysuit that's not tucked in but we're just going to leave it like this actually no maybe we won't maybe I'll be semi-professional and I bought this which I wasn't too sure on but the more I look at it and the more I like think about the outfits I'd wear it with the more I like it this is not what I'd wear it with can we just appreciate this is not what I'd wear it with I'd wear it with something a little bit more shirty and blousy possibly a dress or possibly something less like harsh that's black but this is kind of like this it's not tweed I don't know what you'd call this really um not tweed what's what's the word for this I don't know but this was only 20 it was a 15 or 20 pounds or 18 pounds something like that really really cheap so it's like a, a cut off crop jacket and I thought this would be like perfect for work when I'm just wearing a cute little dress and it's kind of like that transitional weather where I don't want something really warm on or I don't like I'm going to be in the office and we're in an aircon office and I don't really need lots of layers but I want something in the office or like I've got a cut off arm here like something like this but I'm in the office and I don't want to have my shoulders out I can just be in this cute little jacket and I think because of the colour like it's pink and it's got these really cute buttons on it I feel like I'm totally having a juxtaposition between this and this i don't think i'd ever do it up i think maybe i would i don't know but this with a white pair of jeans would look gorgeous um so imagine like white pair of jeans and hang on i've got a little white bag here this uh this bag was actually what my new bedding came in but can you imagine like white jeans with this would look so cute or a white dress or a very pale pink dress or a pale blue dress i think very pale colors would go lovely with this or a white shirt and brown trousers. I feel like very light and neutral would go with this. It doesn't really go with black very well. But purchased this, I was gonna return it and Jake was like, actually, I quite like that. I was like, is it a bit Theresa May? Is it a little bit like I'm ready to run the country? <laughs> Am I ready to run through a field of wheat, you know? Um, but he was like, no, don't ruin it for yourself. I quite like it. And actually, given the right outfit, I think I like this too. And it's just like a nice smart jacket. I own a lot of blazers. Sorry for my potato looking appearance. Um, I own a lot of blazers, but I, I don't own a lot of like this sort of thing. I don't actually have anything like this in my wardrobe. Um, and it's made quite well. It's very thin, like it's not a thick jacket. It's very like linen-y, you know, like very just flimsy, but I think it's nice. And I feel like it's something Lily would buy and she's very fashionable, so this is what I bought. I bought one more thing. Okay, this is the final thing. Can we just please ignore my bra? Like I said, I'm wearing a sports bra, so the purpleness is coming up. I'd wear a normal bra with this, so like you would get some lovely, some lovely cleavage going on. Jake was like, it's something that my nan would wear. Now, never met his nan, but I think that she's got pretty fashionable if she's gonna wear something like this. So this is a dress, it's zebra print. I love an animal print. It has these elasticated arms, which I quite like. So it's not too flowy, but it's not too like constricted. Again, you could pull these up and like ruch them over or something, do something inventive. I don't know. It's got this like fixed bow to it. I love that it like poofs up here. I love a poofy sleeve. And I like that it cinches in here. It's got like this elasticated band running through it here, which I quite like because I'm a pear shape. I find that something's cut off down here and it makes my hips look even bigger. Whereas when it cuts off up here and it falls, I find that it looks nicer. Let me see if I can angle this down. Uh, oh, can you see? Oh yes, you can just about see. If I like go back, go on my tippy toes, there's like a ruffle down at the bottom there. You see that little ruffle? So it cuts off about, I mean, there's my foot. So like mid shin length, it cuts off. I don't know why Jake doesn't like this. I think this is really sweet. You can kind of, there you go, see the whole dress there. I think it's sweet. I'm not sure if I look like a beached whale from behind, but I don't really care if I do or not, you know? Um, I bought this, this was, I think, 20 pounds. It was all roughly about 15 to 18 pounds. Put it this way, all three items came for 50 pounds exactly. They were all pretty cheap. The reason I bought this, so it's kind of like reason behind all of them apart from that, pussy below pussy bow blouse thing that was a bit of a sporadic purchase because i liked the color and i'm like i like it it's animal print and it's pretty 
that was a sporadic purchase the jacket i was like ooh, really like that don't own anything like that in my sort of wardrobe and i feel like i could spice up a lot of outfits with that dress up dress it down this i bought because i really want an autumnal and springtime dress that i can wear with boots and heels i feel like i don't really own a lot of dresses that i can wear with boots and heels because they're very almost like tea dressy like too short um or too delicate whereas this one i think could look really cute with a pair of doc martens and a pair of heels you know like i feel like it's that material that has some substance to it i'm like really rooting up it has some substance to it so it's not like really dressy it's like nice and heavy so it looks nice with different things and i could put a leather jacket on i think it'd look nice i could also put a dainty cardigan on it would look nice i could also wear nothing and it would look nice so i feel like this is like a, just a nice transitional piece to rely on to go out for like a lunch or going out to a family barbecue or to going around someone's house and wanting to look quite nice it's like definitely an outdoor piece for me and i feel like sometimes i want to wear a dress but i don't really want to wear the same dress i've worn like three times in a row somewhere like a lot of people are going to be thinking does she own anything but that dress <laughs> so i feel like i just wanted something that was fun cutesy and just like an old reliable like staple piece and whether jake likes it or not mama gonna keep it because i quite like it so that's that i'm now having to shoot off i've got an appointment somewhere it's actually coming up for half three i'm using some of my flexi from work and i need to shoot off to an appointment and then i'm going to go to the gym at 6 30 i was feeling <laughs> hello <laughs> i was not feeling very well the other day really, really itchy really really gross so i thought i'd just film after work um and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go pack my gym bag so i can go straight for my appointment to the gym and that's that the other day when i didn't vlog on saturday it was my uncle's birthday and in the morning i went to the gym check me out i'm actually going to the gym um i went to the gym in the morning had a shower at my mum and dad's and then went straight to my uncle's because it was his birthday and we had like chili and jacket potatoes things like that which was really nice and yeah that's what we did so you haven't really missed out on much even though i've not filmed a lot so i don't know what i'm gonna do but firstly i need to just go sort my life out because i've got an appointment to go to in less than 20 minutes and i'm not even there yet and it's a 15 minute drive so i need to leave now now okay friends it is 11 o'clock um i got back from the gym jay kent and i had dinner look at those guns oh yeah tiny tiny muscle <laughs> um we got i got back from gym did all that borrowed my mum's super maker i'm tired i'm editing i'm probably gonna go to bed because i've got to go to work tomorrow morning so yeah i'm probably gonna exit the video here look at that juicy spot it's not even juicy anymore it's just red i'm gonna have to put a zit sticker fader on it so it doesn't look so fady like um pigmented but anyway thank you so much for watching wow the lighting's gone tv's just gone black love that for me oh i look awful i just want to thank you guys so much for watching i really really do appreciate it i hope you've enjoyed this weekend's vlog i'll certainly be making soup in my next vlog with my mum's soup maker that i've borrowed so we're making soup um <laughs> whoop whoop hit like and subscribe for soup um but yeah i'm really tired now so i hope you've enjoyed um uh hit like subscribe thumbs up do all those lovely things and i will see you in my next one bye